Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'da habita fillah I wanted to remind myself and my brothers and sisters about the importance of doing good deeds and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a witness over all the good we do and I also wanted to remind myself and my brothers and sisters of this very important project and journey that we are about to embark on and why it's important. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabihi al-kareem wama taf'alu min khayrin fa inna Allah bihi alim. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabihi al-kareem and what you do of good Verily, Allah is all aware or has full knowledge of. And so we know as a part of our belief that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and this is a part of our aqidah, our creed, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees everything and hears everything. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Fi kitab al kareem Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that there is nothing like unto him and he is the all hearing and all seeing and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem that verily nothing is hidden from Allah in the heavens or earth. So we know that whenever we do something good, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is fully aware and you'll be rewarded for that good. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Mandela ala khair falahu mithlu ajri fa'ilihi. The Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam said, whoever show someone the path of good that they are like the one who does that good, who acts upon it. And Ahabatifillah, I wanted to make this humble request to my brothers and sisters in relation to the project that we are beginning and that is I'm encouraging you and urging you to help support our project. And our project, that means you and I. And that means that we're talking about cooperating in piety and righteousness. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala exhorts us to cooperate in righteousness and piety. And by starting an institute in which we can teach and bring others to teach the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to encourage future scholars of Islam that this is khair azim. And this is something you will be rewarded immensely for. And so I ask that those that are unable if you are unable to spare a dollar for your Starbucks, you know, with with uh, with withdraw or restrain yourself from having a drink for one day and contributing one dollar or whatever it is in order to make this project a success, then at least I encourage you to fall under the hadith we already mentioned, which is showing other people the path to khair and encouraging those people who have wealth, who are able to support, to do so by sharing it through your social media. And the reason I ask this, Ahabatifillah, is not that it's something that's going to enrich me. And not that it's something that I'm going to really gain any personal gain, except for it will allow me the opportunity to really get into the books and give you everything that I'm able to give. 
and it will allow for us to expand our podium for sharing Islamic knowledge. However, the good that can attain from this, you will share in that by even just sharing this video or sharing uh, information about this. And that is through the means of social media. And I want to tell you in relation to this project that anyone who knows me, that they know me not to be a person who asks and a person who begs and a person who uh, takes but in fact, over the years and the Muslims that do know me around the world will know and can testify or witness that I'm not of those people. However, as I see the urgency and I've come to realize over time that you cannot do much of anything alone. It's very difficult that you need your brothers and sisters in Islam. And this is why... I'm encouraging you to share in this khair and to share in this opportunity to build something that will perhaps be from sadaqah jariya. It will be from the continuous charity because if we build this and once we establish our courses and have our courses, maybe after our death people will still have access and still be able to access uh, the information that's on there and benefit them. And... This will be khair azim for all of us. And perhaps this will fall under the hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said إِذَا مَاتَ الْمَرِي أَنْ كَتَ الْعَمَلَهُ إِلَى مِنْ ثَلَاثِ That the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that when a person dies, his deeds cease except three. And he said the first, as-sadaka jariya, is the continual charity. And that means... Something like this, we leave something behind, a well. For example, you dig a well, and after you die, people are still drinking from that well and benefiting from the efforts that you put into that, and you'll receive reward for that in your grave and forgiveness and, uh, you know, something on your scale of good deeds. And the second thing, the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, so he said, as jariya wal yuntafa'bi. And he said the second thing is knowledge that the people can benefit from. So perhaps this may fall under both categories. So if we're able to build this or at least begin this project and share some knowledge and bring others who can share knowledge, then perhaps this will fall under the knowledge that the people benefit from and you can share in that. And the last thing the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned, he said, وَوَلَدٍ صَالِحًا يَدْعُولُهُ And a righteous child or a righteous boy, but this falls children in general, that supplicates on his behalf. So by leaving righteous children, that after you die and they supplicate for you that you will be forgiven and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala overlooks your sins and your mistakes, and enters you into paradise and has mercy upon you that this is something good that you can leave behind. So even if you don't leave behind that, at least supplicate that this project is successful and that we can go forward and uh, benefit ourselves by removing some of our sins and benefiting others. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us all with ikhlas, with thabat ala sunnah, وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد